coolest features in Excel to visualize your data is the use of the Quick Analysis tool. So in this example here under the Units column, you can see that each of the rows is represented by a bar. The row which has the highest bar means that it's representing the row which has the highest frequency. The bar which is the shortest is representing the lowest frequency. So as an example here for the unit cost, if we want to do the same thing as what we did for units, just highlight all the four rows and then this quick analysis icon is going to appear. Click on this one here and you will see the different options. There's an option for formatting, charts, totals, tables, spark lines. But in this case, I would just use formatting and then click on the uh, data bars. And same thing with the total. If you highlight this one here, click on this one and click on data bars. And as you can see here, the 9999.5 has the highest bar. And in this case here, the unit cost, which has the shortest bar, costs only about $1.99. If we want to use the other um, options in the, the quick analysis tool, what we can do is highlight this one here. And each of the, the columns is representing the days of those months where the items were purchased. And then click on the quick analysis tool icon and click on spark line and click on the line. And then if we copy that one, you can see that it's also showing a different trend line for that. So what this one is actually um, trying to represent is that for each of the bumps in your trend line is representing each of the, the days in that particular month you're looking at. And that's how you use the quick analysis tool in Excel.